the message I send is quite simple. It's anyone can raise queens. You use whatever works for your area, but this to me is as simple as putting petrol in your car. If you've got a good strong hive, you get a very good start every time. We raise all our queens in queen ride hives. We select a good strong hive with preferably a two-year-old queen. We place the old queen below a queen excluder with plenty of young brood above the excluder so all the nurse bees are up there and they feed our queen cells on royal jelly. The next day we sort them out, we only leave 15 cells per hive per week. Some of the hives I've been using this year have done six weeks. They are getting to the end of their tether but they're still raising good cells. It's very important to have quality stock to start with. You've got to breed from good pure stock. We select on hygiene, quietness, wintering ability and honey production. So if we get all these traits spread into our bees, then our future's pretty bright. When I go to graft, I don't bother locking queens on frames or anything like that. The queens lay 2,000 plus eggs a day. You should be able to go to a hive and find plenty of larvae to graft from every day you're there. But I've got half a dozen breeders down here at the moment, so if you tend to run a bit short, if they have an off day or something, you get a bit of bad weather where they're not laying as hard, you might struggle a little bit, but most of the time, you can go and pick out the right size larvae out of a frame just like that. To me, that's about the ideal size to graft from. And well fed on jelly, so these queen cells are placed in the hive the day before to warm them up, so they are at hive temperature before you graft into them. Very regularly I'm, I'm grafting 20 out of 22 cells on a bar. Sometimes I get the perfect one. Our success rate in our nukes, our hatchability is around 95%. Last year the nuke yard I have here, I have 260 nukes in it. I caged 240 coins the first time and 250 the second time out of them. I then leave those nukes for replacements for next year. I let them lay out that and put them out on bottom boards and they make up any losses that I have. I strongly believe that Tasmanian beekeepers should be breeding more of their own bees. There's enough stock in the state if people are prepared to share it from one end of the state to the other so we're bringing in different genes all the time. Just even in a small state like this there's plenty of stock here.